In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four 3D steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first step. You can see here, you can add the step one. I've added an icon of a baby. And then you can add the title and the detail text along with the icon. And when I click with a different color, it comes the step two, then the step three and the step four. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the shape hexagon draw a hexagon something like this and hold the shift key and increase the size a little bit and you can see here these points these particular points i would like to bring at the top so how i can do that one i can rotate in two different ways either i can use this particular arrow key to rotate or i can rotate it with the help of the alt and the right arrow key in the keyboard so alt hold the alt key then one two three four five six all right, six times I'm going to do that once. Shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, I'm going to give this with some dark uh, maroon color, or dark purple. Align center, align middle. And then I'm going to increase the height of this one. So you can see here I've increased the height, something like this. Then I'm going to give a kind of a platform here to look like kind of a 3D. For that, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the diamond shape. Draw a diamond shape, okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill and give some light color to this one okay light red color and then just put it exactly here and make sure that it is aligned properly okay it should not be yeah i think this is okay the height and width yes okay so you can see here it looks kind of a 3d object now the one more thing which you can do is you can just cut this shape into two equal parts and give more lighter effect here to give more perspective effect okay for that let me just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate select this shape go to insert sh shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly in from the center to the right side shape outline make it no outline then select this shape hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and click on fragment okay so click this one here fragment and select, sorry delete that part then this color right mouse click go to the format shape i can use the same color light color and i can if you want you can make it more lighter okay you can see here it looks kind of a 3d object now okay so now i'm going to select this shape press ctrl g to group it and bring it here at the down okay now the same whatever we have used here we can do and replicate the things but uh, here when you're doing this one do not cut this one otherwise uh, when you're dragging this one the shape will not be same here for example if i just drag this one let me just show you ungroup this select this and this you can see here it is reducing the size and it is going up here so i don't want to do that one so what you can do is ungroup i'm uh, sorry group it back then go select this shape and bring it here you can see here then increase the size give a different color combination you can see here whichever color you would like to give maybe a kind of an orange all right send this to back then select this shape the diamond shape Control c click outside Control v and this color i'm going to give a kind of a yellow and put it here so you can see here and once this is done you can then at the last a minute you can just cut this one okay so this is my second one again if you want to increase the size it's very simple just increase the size like that so this is the second object for me then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d and give some different color here whichever color you want maybe a kind of a blue color increase the height and send this to back and put it exactly here you can see here with this and increase the size here all right now i'm going to copy this one press ctrl d and give maybe a more lighter color or more darker color maybe lighter color which is good you can see here again if you want to increase the height you just increase the height 
and move this up all right then the last one i'm going to select this one press ctrl d give a different color here maybe i'm going to give a green color and again put it like this and increase the height which is bigger than all send this to back now let me just select this one alignment problem yeah press ctrl d i'm going to give some lighter color and i'm going to put it here you can see here so my design is ready so what you can do next is either if you want to cut now you can just cut it with the help of these rectangles okay so again select the rectangle exactly from the center shape outline no outline so select this shape hold the shift key select this blue rectangle merge shape and click on fragment delete this part select this shape and make it more light color here can see here you can see the same thing it has to be done for this as well as this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select each of this one by one press ctrl g to group it then uh, this is already grouped so let me just send this back then i'm going to select this one and this one press ctrl g again send to back and again this one and this one press ctrl g and send to back all right so the grouping is done then you can go to the insert text box you can say uh, step 01 I'm going to make it as a Arial black font or any other font which you can take it center align increase the size and I'm going to put it here all right then you have to go to the text options text effects go to the 3d rotation and I can just choose maybe this one. Let me just click. Yeah, I think the size is very big. Let me just make it. Or if you want, you can just enter it. Step one, I'm going to select the color as white. So this is my step one. Press Ctrl D, bring it here. This is the step two. Again, if it is not visible with the white color, you can just change the color to black. All right, so this is the step three, control D, and this is the step four. All right, so you can see we've got step one, two, three, and four. Now what you can do is you can just add the detailed text for each step. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle, okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can fill this with some light gray color all right then i'm going to add one more small rectangle here at the corner as a border okay shape outline make it no outline and shape fill use the same color what we have used here okay and then go to the insert text box title here make it bold bring it here and then you can insert some detailed text equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much large text so i'm going to cut this reduce the font size and put it here all right so we have got the step the title and if you want to insert some icons, go to insert icons and you can just choose any icon depending on your requirement. So in this case, I'm going to just choose some random icons. So I'm going to choose this, click insert. Icon is inserted, sorry. Let me just move this aside and you can give the same color what we have used here reduce the size and put it here all right so you can see here we have added now the same thing the text i have to add it for this option so select these shapes hold the control shift key and move it up so this is for this one and the color i'm going to change this to a blue color okay whatever the color we have used here icon you can just simply select the icon go to the graphic format 
graphic change and from icons i can just choose the icon what the icon i need maybe this one click insert the icon got changed and the color also we need to change it all right now i'm going to copy this one press ctrl d to duplicate move it aside bring it here you can see here icon will come here and this one i'm going to make it right align you can go to the home right align go to the shape format align and make it right all right and move it here so it looks something like this now i'm going to select this and put it here for all right press ctrl g to group it if you want again press ctrl d to duplicate and this will be for this only the thing is we need to change the colors whatever the color which we have used change the icon the same the way i explain you how to change it here and this one will be a green color all right and this also you can just change the color so you can see here we have simply make this uh, the design and again if you want to add some animation uh, sorry the icons on the top you can go to insert icons here i'm going to type people okay and you can see here i've got different uh, whichever i want for example i would like to have a baby here click insert move it aside i'm going to make the height and width maybe 0.5 and each baby will come here this man will be at the top this here and is crawling this will be here all right so once this is done what you can do is we can select all these shapes the first one and press ctrl g to group it so you can see it has become one group here so this group is very easy to animation go to the animations and click on the wipe effect so it comes like this all right if you want you can just go to different different animations also here either if you want you can use this stretch or, or stripes or peek in so maybe this is very easy and then here also let me just group this press ctrl g and for this animation more entrance effect i'm going to use stretch click ok and stretch make it from right and this should happen let me just show you this should happen after previous so if i play now it comes like this so the same thing it has to be done for this one so make sure that first of all you have to select this one and group it all right and then i'm just going to copy the animation it comes here so now the animation i'm going to copy this to here so instead of this from the right you have to make it from the left so now if i play it comes like this same thing you just need to copy for the others as well